Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from the annual Grape, Nut, and Tree Fruit Expo held at the Fresno Fairgrounds. Today, nearly a thousand growers gathered to hear from industry experts on improving their vineyard management practices, gain continuing education credits, view a wide variety of industry exhibits featuring some of the latest in industry technology, and enjoy a complimentary breakfast and lunch provided by American Vineyard Magazine. One of the key topics discussed at the show was using plant growth regulators on grapevines. And Ashraf El Karimi, UC Viticulture Advisor from Kern County, came and discussed some of the factors growers should consider when using plant growth regulators in the vineyard. We are talking about the using the plant growth regulators in the uh, grapes, and uh, mainly I focus on the. Uh, the factors that affect the response of the vines to the plant growth regulators, uh, mainly we have two uh, major categories of plant growth regulators, the promoters and uh, inhibitors. Promoters including the GE or the Progev and cytokinin, the commercial form, it's the Camzel. And uh, the inhibitors, those are the acetylene and the abscisic acid, and those we use them uh, later on the primary stage to improve color. Uh, so the promoters, we use them to increase the size of the grapes, and the inhibitors, we use them to improve the color and get early ripening. Uh, things that we need to take it in consideration when we use those plant growth regulators, that they are working in a very low concentrations, and working in a specific stage, and each uh, plant growth regulator is uh, specific for a uh, specific function. Uh, for example, the GE and the cytokinin, we use them to increase the size of grapes. The mode of action, both of them is different. One increasing the cell size, like the GE, and one increasing the cell number or the cell division, which is cytokinin. But we can use them to increase the uh, fruit size. The other two hormones, the ethylene and the abscisic acid, we use them to increase the, or improve the color of grapes. So we have to use it in a specific stage. We use those one after variation or after getting the very softening or uh, the color break stage in table grapes, we use those ones to increase or improve the color. So if we use the wrong plant growth regulators in the wrong stage, we get very bad results and you lose the yield, you lose quality, uh, you lose money for sure. So the thing that we need to keep it in, in our mind when we do those uh, PGRs is the timing of application, the kind of plant growth regulators we are using and uh, also the variety because not all variety responds the same way. Some older variety like Flame Sedlis, Thompson Sedlis, we respond to very high concentration of GA, for example, like 8 ppm. But some newer variety um, responds to very low concentration as 2 ppm or maybe 5 ppm. So we need to consider the variety when we do it. Um, the other thing, the application method, we use it to apply those PGRs in the grip vines or the vineyard, um, it's very critical, we need a good cover with a small droplet and some people are now they are using the electrostatic um, sprayer to get uh, good results with the PGRs. And finally, I have to mention that those PGRs follow the same pesticide regulation as uh, from the PDR, so we have to keep in mind reading the label, apply whatever in the label, don't exceed the concentration. and um, get protected as exactly as using the best site uh, in your vineyard. Gain the full report of Ashraf's presentation in the coming issue of American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.